When is a virtual desktop not a virtual desktop? When it's a physical desktop. And that physical desktop needs to connect to its virtual desktop through some sort of connection that connects physical to virtual. Well, the virtual to physical connection involves something called a client that involves something called view, and that comes from a company called VMware. Did that just melt your brain? Configuring that client can happen via a variety of different ways, but one of the best ways to do it is with Active Directory Group Policy. I put together actually a series, uh, a training series with CBT Nuggets on VMware View. And in this quick micro nugget, I pulled out just the client configuration piece to show you how Group Policy and the client view desktop virtual thing interconnecting can actually work. Take a look. And it's worth talking about group policy because there are actually a surprising number of settings in group policy that you'll probably want to configure for those users so that they don't have as many options as, well, enough options to uh, hang themselves with, so to speak. Let me right click here to create a new group policy object. And let's call this configure VMware view clients. Okay, this is going to be a new group policy. And uh, once I create the group policy, I'm going to go ahead and edit that group policy. And just like before, I've got this sort of this group policy management editor piece up here. Now, what I've done is out of that group policy files location that we talked about a couple of nuggets ago, I've copied the contents of that folder to this location. So you can see these six ADM files that are available here. What I'm going to do is actually import those ADM files into this computer configuration policy as administrative templates. Okay, if I right click and choose add remove templates, choose add and then desktop and then group policy files, there's the five ADM files that I'm worried about for now. That makes them available here as policy templates and then exposes them here under administrative templates as classic administrative templates. Hit the little plus sign here and then scroll just a bit to the right so we can see all the things that are available. The one that I'm interested in most at this time is the VMware view client configuration policy file. Okay, a couple different items in here. And, and I push all this to the end because I wanted you to see Right, well, I wanted you to see what the user is going to see. And then I wanted to give you the option of enforcing certain settings on behalf of that user. Okay, do you want to disable time zone forwarding? Okay, do you, are you across multiple time zones? And do you want to have the client to have their local time zone or the time zone of the server? Uh, are you tunneling the proxy bypass address list? Uh, are you using a proxy doc pack file? So uh, at the client's local site, do they have to have some proxy file that configures their, their, their local Internet Explorer proxy? Uh, is there a different URL for client online help? Okay. Do you want to create your own URL so that you can point the clients to uh, company-specific information? Uh, do you want to redirect smart card readers? Okay. If users are going to be using local mode, which we'll talk about later, uh, do you want to redirect so their smart card reader will work with local mode? Uh, do you want to delay the start of replications? And then lastly, and honestly, one of my more favorite group policy settings, do you want to disable toast notifications? Which, um, if you're familiar with Microsoft uh, Outlook, and the little thing that pops up in the lower right-hand side of the screen whenever you have new mail, uh, that we call a toast notification because it pops up kind of like a piece of toast. A neat name. Uh, there are additionally some scripting definitions here if you want to identify some of the items and then also some security settings here. Uh, many of these are deprecated. But again, these are really useful for locking down that client so that you can give them the specific configuration that you want. And I highly recommend that you take a look at these before you start deploying any of these things in production. Now, the last piece here that I want to mention, actually one more piece before the last piece, uh, do not forget, if you do deploy these, that there are additional administrative templates here under user settings. Uh, here under VMware view client configuration, there are going to be a number of user settings down here as well. Okay, some of these are the same. Right, the same toast notifications that was up there is down here. Uh, the shade is essentially that little dark area at the top side of the client window. In fact, let me go back here. This is the shade right here. And do you want that to actually exist? Do you want it to fly away whenever people aren't using it? Uh, those are uh, some of the settings that you're seeing here. Uh, let me go back to here. Oops, that's not where I'm going. Right here. Uh, do you want to pin the shade? Okay. Do you want to check monitor alignment when you're spanning monitors? Do you want to enable multimedia acceleration? Again, all these different settings are available for you. Want to learn more? Check out cptnuggets.com.